Hey everyone, welcome back to Deep Blend Art. I'm thrilled to have you here today. Today, we're exploring the game-changing sky texture update in Blender 5. It's a massive leap forward that transforms how we handle skies and lighting. Let's jump right in. The previous sky system in Blender had several modes, but the standout one was Nishita, a physically-based model that simulated skies really well for its time. That said, it came with some bugs and limitations, many of which have been ironed out in this update. The big issue with Nishita was that when calculating sunlight scattering through the atmosphere, it only handled single scattering, meaning light bounced just once in the air, giving us a pretty flat, single-layer atmosphere effect. But the new system called Multiple Scattering steps it up by simulating light passing through four to five atmospheric layers. This delivers a much more vibrant and realistic color gradient in the sky. Take a look at this sunset scene. If you're using Blender 4 with the old Nishita setup and identical scene settings, you'll notice the horizon turns into this flat, dark orange band, while the upper sky fades to a dull blue-gray or washed-out blue-white. That mid-sky color ramp just doesn't capture the nuance we see in real life. Now switch to the same scene in this Blender 5 update, and it's a whole different story. The horizon gradients from turquoise blue toward deeper navy, then as you move upward that blue warms into subtle oranges where the sun's influence lingers, before fading back to a soft pale blue higher up. It's spot on with what we actually experience in the real world, pure eye candy for your renders. From a computational standpoint, the core upgrade here is that multi-layer atmospheric calculation, which really elevates our scene lighting. Plus, the blue light contribution, thanks to those layered scatters, feels way more natural now. In the old sky, you'd barely get any true blue, it was all dominant oranges, and whatever blue showed up was muddy and lifeless, which just didn't cut it for pro work. But in the new version, that atmospheric blue layer renders with pinpoint accuracy, adding depth that pops you'll see the most dramatic improvement in sunrise and sunset renders, where the color spectrum now blooms with lifelike subtlety. Another key addition is the revamped Global Illumination, or GI. In the old Nishita setup, GI was hit or miss. Light didn't scatter convincingly across surfaces, leaving objects feeling flat. But now, with those multi-layer passes, GI shines through beautifully. Check this out. The bounce light on the ground feels organic and immersive, softening shadows while enhancing color bleed and overall environmental lighting. It's a huge win for realistic scene setups, all because the system now properly accounts for that ground bounce light. In practice, the old Nishida is now rebranded as single scattering. If you select it, you're back to the classic setup. The new multiple scattering joins the lineup, and they renamed the dust option to aerosols for better clarity. To wrap up the main changes, first multi-layer multiple scattering for deeper realism. Second, an expanded color ramp that goes beyond four or five shades into a fuller spectrum. Third, blazing fast computations, especially in EV, powered by those LUTs. Fourth, dramatically improved global illumination. And fifth, sharper noise reduction with that efficiency boost. There you have it. That's the sky texture revolution in Blender 5, packed with tools to make your skies feel alive and your renders stand out. I can't wait to see what you create with this. Drop your thoughts or project shares in the comments below. If this sparks some ideas, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more deep dives into Blender's evolving world and ring that bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in, keep blending deep, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.